Hello and welcome to our children's corner. My name is Sister Lorraine Gosa and our theme this week is heroes making a difference in this world. Being a hero doesn't mean flying up in the sky, but being a hero means making a difference. Today we're going to look at hero and stay blessed. My name is Alian Domunda Nache and I'm coming from Kalushi Senge SDHA. I'm going to present to you a memory verse coming from the book of Psalm 119 verse 105. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Thank you. My memory verse is coming from Psalms 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I believe in the sun. I believe in the risen one. I believe I have a God. But above is blood. Amen. This week, we are going to focus on the little children in the Bible who made a difference. Our theme is making a difference in little ways. Today, we are going to look at Miriam, the sister to Moses. I'm sure we've heard of the story of Moses a lot of times, but little do we focus on Miriam. So today, we are going to look at what did Miriam do? What was her contribution? Moses was born at the time that Pharaoh had passed a decree that all the little boys, all the baby boys that, should, that were born from Israelites were to be killed. This was because the Egyptians were getting worried about the numbers at, at the rate at which the Israelites were growing. Their numbers were growing too big and they were worried that maybe at one point or another they would overtake their kingdom. So when Moses was born, the mother looked at the baby that, that she had given birth to, a beautiful baby boy. And she remembered the decree that the king had passed. Her heart was filled with sorrow. 
she didn't want the baby her baby boy to be killed so what did she do she decided to hide the baby in the house she prayed about it lord what will I, what am i going to do she kept the baby in the house but the baby was growing every day and she could not hide the baby for too long there came a point where she couldn't hide him anymore so what did she do she decided to make a little basket i have a little basket with me just to illustrate the basket that she could have made a beautiful little basket she made out of reed and placed her baby boy there then she called her daughter miriam to go and watch over the basket at the river they took the basket put it on the waters at the river and asked miriam to sit at a far distance watching the baby miriam did not refuse let me pause a bit and ask a question what would you do what would you have done if it was you even today what would you have done if your mother asked you to go and watch over something at the river or even just a minor thing like staying with the baby at home while your mother is not there miriam did not refuse she obeyed she stayed at a far distance watching the baby and it so happened that pharaoh's daughter was also going to the river to have a bath when she got to the river she saw something peculiar there was something at the river a beautiful basket then she sent one of her maids can you go and fetch the basket i want to see what is inside there they fetched the basket looked at it and there was a beautiful baby boy her heart leaped she couldn't help but just love the baby and she decided she was going to keep the baby when miriam saw pharaoh with the basket she decided to move closer just imagine what would you have done if it was you were you going to run back home to tell your mother that the princess has got the baby but no miriam didn't do that miriam was brave she moved closer then she heard the princess say wow i want this baby to be mine i'm going to keep this baby then miriam drew closer and god used her miriam asked the, the princess can i help you find a maid to take care of the baby can i help you find an israelite maid the princess accepted and that's how miriam rushed home called the mother and the mother then came and was given an opportunity to take care of the baby what a wonderful thing that happened a wonderful opportunity for moses mother to take care of her own child and at, on top of that she was even paid to do that but what is more important is that she was given an opportunity to take care of her son and to teach him of the values good values from the bible what do we learn from this today i want you children to learn that if you want to be a hero the first thing first step to being a hero is obedience remember miriam obeyed the mother to go and watch the basket secondly she was brave so if you are obedient and god is going to give you even braveness then you will be a hero the first step to being a hero is obedience i hope you enjoyed the story please join us again tomorrow as we are going to look at another character of a little one in the bible bye bye